so just for the money, this is the this is like a really really nice. You're really looking forward to play with this up. thing, aren't you? I am. I am because I'm a tech guy. I yeah. like new technology Ew. and the ability to be able to know if anything's going on with my truck and get an alert on your phone is the best thing ever. Hello, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Garage. Today we are going to test a company's product. It's called a Top Scan. It's from Top Done, uh, and it is an OBD2 scanner. And it basically is this big, and it's a plug-and-play. You download an app to your phone, and you can have your own code scanner for your vehicle. It covers all vehicles. So let's unbox this thing, and let's uh, see what this is all about and see if it works. Yeah, let's see what we got in this box here. There it. We have the code reader. Okay. Well, it's self-encapsulated, and I'm, from what I understand, that these are powered by, um, these are powered by the vehicle itself. So you basically leave that plugged in and read your codes as you're going down the road indefinitely. Download and install the app. Uh, register and log in. Find the VCI. Download the diagnostic hardware to your phone. Plug in top scan into the OBD2 port. Turn the ignition on position. Bluetooth connecting to your phone. Your top scan is already used. Update. Gets updates when you need them. And search for Top Guru in the App Store to download and install the Android search for or Android search for Top Scan in Google Play and download the install. Install. Complete continue. Okay, it says installed, and after I've installed it, then I've got to open it. And personal information protection guidelines, agree and continue. There we go, we're gonna log in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use Kenny's truck as a test bed on this, and uh, so right there on his truck it's just plug and play yep. okay all right shut the truck off all right unhook and connect the device hmm? plug the stop can stop top scan into while it's shut off okay all right plug it back in okay next start the truck All right, next, make sure the LED light in the device is solid red and search for Bluetooth. Once connected, the LED light on the device will turn solid blue. Got it? Uh, yeah, so you, you actually have to go into your system settings to your Bluetooth, and it'll be a really long device name, so it's actually that. I wonder if we can rename it. But, so then it'll tell you to activate. So then you activate it, and then and this is what this this is what pops up. Okay. So we'll do. Oh, wow, you can set maintenance, diagnose, uh, badge button, to go over the diagnose button to tab to choose a VIN recommendation method. Current status of Bluetooth. It's displayed here. It is not connected for diagnosis. Tap this button. Which is connection? Got it. See, we got. Wow. These are all the models yeah, that are available. These are, the, it? these are all the makes. We got Bugatti, BMW, Cadillac, Chevrolet. We have download. I'll tell you, this is a really for the price. This is the top-notch little system. Yeah. Geez. <laughs> You can schedule maintenance. And wow. you said that that's self-powered by the truck, so you yeah. could you could leave that hooked up indefinitely. Yeah. And it would just, if there was a problem, if you popped a code in the truck, you just your plug phone, your phone your, and pull it up. The phone would get a notification. The, 
No shit. Yeah, it just said, can it send me a notification? So I assume... <laughs> if you leave it plugged yeah. in, it'll send you a notification that there's yeah. an issue. Yeah, and this is GM, Chevy. Everything. Yeah, Jeeps, European cars. Audi, oh, so it has a heading up here of different yeah. different types of cars. Chinese. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. This is Thousands. way cross-platform. Hyundai, Infiniti. Kia, Lexus. The one for me was the the Bugatti. You got a Bugatti <laughs> on here. I think you can afford 80 bucks for a scanner tool. If you got a Bugatti, yeah. Uh, technical service bulletins. Let's see if there's any technical service bulletins on here for my truck. Silver Runner. Fifteen hundred. Two thousand and two. Nope, oh, no service. Oh, no. There it come. Tire slowly goes flat and or excessive wheel vibration caused by bead slips. Replace wheels with new heavy duty rim version. Came out in two thousand eight. Wow. So they're tied into the net with all the updates. Oh yeah. The, the most recent bulletin is 2019. This technical bulletin provides a procedure to apply grease to the leaf springs to correct the condition of squeaky noises from metals making contact. Wow. Right, diagnose. Go here. All right. So once you click uh, the model, so Chevy, just click on it. Expand button for more functions. Too much data, button for fuzzy search, translator correct text on this page. Any diagnosis issue, tap feedback button to report it. It's automatic. Turn the ignition on. Uh, manually or tap read to report. Tap read. It's reading for the VIN number. That's stored in the computer? I didn't know that either. Yeah, that's why the ECMs, when they go out, they have to get programmed and flashed for the vehicle. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's a massive, is, yeah, it's like a massive memory card. Yep, that is the VIN. Uh, throttle actuated control. Throttle bodies. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Block. Yeah, you have, you have 5.3 yeah. with throttle body, yeah. yes. All right, and 5.3 liter, yeah. Yep. LM7, full stride truck, 4 by 4 half ton. Yep. In the cab, yeah. yeah the whole, it pulled it right up off your VIN, yeah. This kind of like, this is a, impressing so, me a little bit. Yeah. Vehicle functions, auto scan, vehicle profile. Uh, let's go auto scan. Yeah. Ooh, let's see what we can scan. Diagnosis circuits check, real time damping, electric variable, Orphis, OnStar, vehicle theft, memory mirror module, memory seat module, heat and air condition. Let's active test. Uh, let's go. Motor actuator test. Uh, which you just replaced. Yeah. Um, actuator mode door. Establish the communication with the vehicle. Please wait. I'm getting a. I'm getting a. To ensure the ignition is on position, ensure VCI securely connected to vehicle's DLC. Ensure the battery has enough charge. Ensure the system is equipped to the vehicle. Ensure the green light on the VIC icon, which is this icon up here, is green. If the problem persists, record the, da the data log and submit to your dealer or contact. Confirm. Hmm. So this will also store the information it's gathering. Yeah. Wow. Let's read it. Read codes. See if there's any codes. Nope. No codes. Yeah, they're running good. Data stream. 
Armory EEC. Nope, nothing. Some auxiliary. Nope. So you're clear. I'm all good. So, special one. Seems like it's the same process for everything. Just touch and play, touch yeah. and check. Now this is for stock vehicles that have been modified also. Uh, yeah, but as long as your ECM can- Is, it, is intact. Is so right, what, what my, do you think? Oh, is it 61%? What do you think? Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty freaking cool. I I think this is cool beans, man. And what do you think the price for, for it's right now online? They're seventy nine ninety five. Shoot, that's a win. That's a, what are you checking? Uh, it's called I am readiness. Um, so it does just like a once over check of all your um all the much, systems, all the systems it's like evap and um. All the stuff that doesn't really normally get checked. And so everything in my systems is good. So my O2 sensors are good. My monitoring system's good. I don't have a secondary error. My EVAP system's good. Um, my cats are good. So what's my bad? Compression components are good. Apparently there's a code somewhere. So let's see if we can find it. Oh. Features in this page are not intended for use on public roads. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Accelerate to begin. Dad. It's doing a diagnostic. Dad. Yes. It's what? a timer. What do you mean? It says accelerate to begin. 60 foot time, 330 time, eighth mile time, thousand foot time, quarter mile time. It's like Dad. a it's like a draggy. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> so uh, that's, okay. why that's why it says not to do it on public roads. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that's why it says not to do it on public road. <laughs> that's funny. Oh man. So just for the money, this is the this is like a really really nice. You're really looking forward to playing with this up. thing, aren't you? I am. I am because I'm a tech guy. I yeah. like new technology Ew. and the ability to be able to know if anything's going on with my truck and get an alert on your phone is the best thing ever. Because a lot of people's issues with working on cars is they don't know. And I don't know if like a code pops or whatever, it thinks that this thing's gonna be like, hey, and it's gonna automatically open up. I don't know that yet. Um, I would assume because all it can do, but. Well, it I mean, says in the instructions that it will send you the code. It will alert you of yeah. a problem if you have it plugged into the system. Yeah. So you could directly leave that just locked in. Yeah. So, so if you're traveling, if you're doing whatever, yeah. If you're long hauling, whatever it is, you can leave that 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 little that little box sensor that's the size less than the size of a pack of cigarettes. Leave it plugged in. If you have an issue, it's going to let you know right there on the spot. Yeah. Exactly what it is. Now, that would save so many Trip housewives out. out there that get scammed by the mechanic. Yeah. That I mean, for eighty bucks, for eighty bucks, this is a home run. Mm -hmm. All right. There's, I mean, you you get a complete diagnostic and a everyday running as you're going. What's going on with your vehicle? Man, save you a lot of trips to the store. To the store. <laughs> ha ha! I found it. What'd you find? My mass flow air sensor sensor performance. <laughs> yep. What did this do? I uh, just say if you so huh, funny if when you pull it up if you hit the thing it pulls you to the to Google on how to fix it <laughs> it literally gives you the 
Wow. <laughs> It gives you a YouTube education. That's the about, best thing ever. About how to fix what's going on. Oh, oh my God. Okay. That's awesome. Now, I am impressed. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. Okay. I am impressed. Now, BB name, not, a, name an OBD2 sensor that can do that. I'm oh. telling you, I now, being the old guy, and running carburetors and distributors and everything, you know, but to have a device... Have an app on it that when you have a problem to pull you up a YouTube uh, channel to help you fix your problem on a search automatically. Come on. How can you lose with this? It's very impressive. So if you're still here, like, share, subscribe, smash that button, hit the bell. Check out the link down below. You're going to want to check this out. This I'm completely blown away. You blown away? I'm so blown away. And you look at him. Look at that smile. Oh, my he God. He is like is a so kid cool. in a candy store. <laughs> He's going to play with this for the next hour. No. But I'm not going to leave it running for an hour. So so you guys have a great day because a great day today could mean an awesome scan tool, portable, downloadable on your phone, give you, a, give you an update, give you an alert, and send you to the channel you need to fix it. Where are you going to get that for 80 bucks? Y'all be good.